Bonjour to the moon. It is I, Rebbing RX, and welcome back to more. Nope, nope. I don't know why I do that every time. Welcome to Pikmin 3. <clears throat> this is my new Let's Play, which I'm having issues right now. My cat's walking around on me. Now, yes. So, this is a brand new file. Uh, brand new, completely brand new. So, I thought about this a lot. I don't have ultra spicy difficulty unlocked, but I've decided even if I did, I probably would only play on uh, hard, um, just so I can get through this faster because ultra spicy really just kind of slows things down. It doesn't necessarily make it harder. Um, which I'll work into that more in a second. Uh, but for now, let's just get started on a hard mode. Galactic Date 20XX At the far reaches of space lies a planet on the brink of ruin. The planet's name? Kopai. Due to a booming population, booming appetites, and a basic lack of planning, Kopai's inhabitants have all but exhausted their food supply. Their only hope is to find another planet with edible matter. Accordingly, they send unmanned scout vessels called sparrows out into space. To their dismay, the search is proving fruitless. Just as they're about to give up, Final vessel reports back with news of a miraculous discovery. They mobilize to investigate the planet, which they name PNF 404. Kopai's last hope rests on three intrepid explorers. Explorer's 279,000 light year voyage nears its end. But as they initiate the landing sequence, something goes horribly wrong. Well, where am I? The last thing I remember was... Oh, of course! This must be PNF 404! Charlie the ship! Charlie the ship! Do you copy? This is your captain. I repeat, do you copy? Copy? Yellow? Anyone? There's no response. Where's my ship? My crew? Captain Charlie. I managed to escape unscathed, but what about the rest of my crew? They could be anywhere on PNF 404. I've got to find Alf and Brittany. I sure hope they survive. Move with L. If you get stuck, you can turn on hints. Never gonna touch that. Actually, maybe I'll show it. Keep moving ahead. How do I turn it off? Uh, uh, I don't know how to turn off these arrows. Uh, 
Okay, well, I am Charlie, stuck on PNF 404, which is named after the air code on a website. Page not found 404. Huh? Well, in the... There are more of them. I seem to have wandered into a strange neighborhood. Why are they coming closer? Excuse you, I do not want button controls. Cat, you're fine. Oh! They don't appear hostile, so let me get this straight. I can round up these creatures by pointing at them and pressing B and throw them with A. Whistle, throw. Uh, gyro on. Cursor control is pointer. Yes. Hint display off. Cat, what are you doing? Okay, he's doing okay, thanks. All right. Uh, shoot. How do I reset this? R, okay. Cat, stop. <laughs> okay, so we wanna go back and collect the rest of these Pikmin here. Get a full crew. As we can see in this one, the pointer shows what color Pikmin we're throwing and how many Pikmin we have left to throw. This is really loud in my ears. And now we have our complete set of 30. So I can press ZL to lock onto things. Or no, I can set camera with ZL. So the big mushrooms you have to have latched on to, you can hit the small ones on the top, uh, but the big ones have a health bar. Not really too much here to find. <clears throat> this here is one of my favorite pictures from this entire game. I find this to be very beautiful. <clears throat> I actually use the in-game camera to take a picture of this once to make it my profile picture. Shoot. I played so much Captain Toad going into uh, the menus weird in this one, or resetting the pointers weird. It's a miracle I'm alive and somehow unharmed. Yellow. Yellow. <clears throat> Just as the SS Drake was about to land, we lost control and had to make an emergency escape. During the chaos, I was separated from my other two team members, as well as the ship itself. As the ship's ending year is up to me, Alf, to find both the SS Drake and my crew members. So in our spacesuits, we can go into water, no problem, not an issue at all.
What was that? It's too high, I can't go back that way. It appears that the specimen I just spied has company. <clears throat> and what's that stuck in the branch? I was hoping that it was a fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edible at all. Nevertheless, the red fellow seemed quite pleased now that it's freed. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be looking for these two missing... So here in this game, there are these tasks that Pikmin will automate doing. So they have a pile of three and a pile of twelve. The pile of three, well they're gonna go straight back to where the pile was to try to pick up more. But since they're done with that pile, they'll automatically go to the nearest pile. The Pikmin AI is much smarter in this than it was in Pikmin 1 and 2. And one thing new to this version, well, there's quite a few things I want to talk about why I chose the deluxe version, because it was definitely something I was debating when I, when it first came out, because I wasn't the biggest fan of the new controls in the deluxe version, so I figured when I do Pikmin 3, I'd do the Wii U version, but the, the camera is one of the things, but there are many reasons, actually, why I ended up going with this version, and it was through a second playthrough that I decided why. Um, oh, and when you accidentally whistle people doing their tasks, they'll just think, do you actually want to whistle me? You have to whistle them a lot more if you want to actually uh, collect them. If they're not actually actively doing the task, you can whistle them and um, they'll automatically come to you. And when you're near them, when they end the task, they'll immediately come back to your party. So this is the cop pad. It was originally supposed to be like the game pad, and it felt really right. Um, obviously there's no game pad on the Switch version. Great, it still works. Of course I expect nothing less from Copite Engineering. I'll check my surroundings by scrolling through the cop pad screen. Aha, the SS Drake isn't that far from here. Maybe the other two crew members are there as well. I best head in that direction. Now we can start exploring with the help of the cop pad. Cop pad. Use the radar to check the map and camera to take photos. Mine is to take photos. I already kind of talked about that, but let's go into the cop pad. So we have the map and we have photo mode. Which, I mean, it's a photo mode. Uh, wow, look at that. What a beautiful plant. Shutterbug, use the camera to take a photo. These here are pellet posies. These are purple sear grubs. They're female sear grubs. They will not hurt you at all. So when you take a color of the correct pellet to the correct color of onion, it creates more Pikmin than it would if it wasn't that color. So because this is a red to a red, it creates two Pikmin from the one. That thing is popping out some sort of sprouts. Ah, I see, so this is how these creatures propagate. Fascinating. Press A to pluck nearby Pikmin and B to cancel. So the nice thing about this game too is you do not have to mash A. You can just press A button once and it'll auto-pluck everything. So I can all come back for those two in a second. 
Because I want to come over here. <clears throat> so I can kill all these sheer grubs, and they can also take those back to the onion to, uh, to create more Pikmin. This here... is a five pellet posy. Now this doesn't double it. This actually does give me five when I take it back to the red, but if it was any other color, it would only give me four. There is a limit to the number of Pikmin that can actually grab on and help things. It's usually double the number, so like this can hold 10 out of five. Uh, sometimes it's smaller, like sometimes it's like 25 out of 15. And I want to get these in here. And you see here, as they finish, they immediately come to me and I have 10 Pikmin again. So now I'll start plucking all the Pikmin. They are basically immediately able to be plucked in this one. You don't have to wait for them to sprout. So 21 Pikmin is the maximum Pikmin you can get on this first day. So if I lock on to something and I hold A, it automatically throws. This is the big reason I decided this version over the Wii U version. This was not something in the Wii U version. And they've really taken advantage of it in this one. And I'll show you what I mean later. Oh look, an SC card. Looks like someone left a data file here. Perhaps the coat pad will be able to read it. The onion is like a nest for Pikmin. It gives birth to them and provides them with shelter. Excellent, the code pack can read data files, so these creatures are called Pikmin. The information might come in handy later. I'll save it in the code pad's exploration notes. I don't think Captain Charlie wrote this data file, so who did? Could there be other intelligent life forms on this planet? Did you hear that, Pikmin? They called you stupid. Soup. Um, coat pad. So if we go into here, there we have that, and we have controls. Oh, we don't have new ones. I thought we had a bunch of new ones we could read. So the Drake should be through here. So now when you collect a data file, it does not automatically pull up. But let's see what it says anyway. We will look at all of them we get. So you can change the radar settings in the option menu to have it always face north or to rotate with you. So here we'll just destroy some of these mushrooms because sometimes the mushrooms have data files in them. And I want to try to collect as many data files as I can. So I believe this is another tutorial. Who built this wall here? More signs of intelligent life? So I can lock on and do X to perform a charge attack, which works a little differently in this game, and it's one of the things I'm not a huge fan of in this game. The other thing is having to constantly reset my pointer. It gets very off-centered very quickly. My crew can learn a lot from this kind of teamwork. <clears throat> there it is, the SS Drake. The coat pack isn't picking up any signs of life in the immediate area. What am I supposed to do now? Incoming transmission, who could it be? Alf, it's me, Brittany, do you copy? Thank goodness, you're with the SS Drake, right? I made it through the landing in one piece, the thing is I'm trapped somewhere. And I'm starved. 
Oh no, we got cut off. I wonder how far away Brittany is. Usually about like 50 miles from where I live. But at very least, I'm thankful that she appears to be safe and sound. What was that strange sound? The song is saying which means their nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. I should probably get off the planet's surface for now. Most of the supplies we brought with us from Kopai were destroyed on the crash landing. We now only have three days worth of edible, edible provisions left. Starting tomorrow, I'll have to find some local food. So yes, we can view a replay of our entire day uh, on the little game pad map, the cope pad map. It shows everything that happens, so you can try to plan your day or do whatever you'd like. These are the achievements. You've seen me get a couple of them. I will not be getting all of these. I'll see as many as I can get. And the reason you might want to review your day is because there is a chance that you can or as time progresses, you can redo your days and maybe you find something you could do differently and just immediately go back. We won't be doing that at all in this playthrough, though. We're shipwrecked on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin help me find the SS Drake, but our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We're going to be... We won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany, and we will set out to find her tomorrow. When I took off in the ship, the youngin took flight as well. Odd, but amazing. And with that, thank you all for watching, and I will see you here next time. Au revoir.